Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. It is your favorite day of the week. Freakishly good deals Friday. Easy for me to say. <laughs> okay, it is clearance day. 50% off jewelry. Most of the things you've seen before, some not. Uh, here you go if you'd like to purchase anything. During the summer, this will be, you'll eat, be, eat. <laughs> can't talk today guys during the summer you'll be invoiced on Saturday Sunday or Monday I'm not sure depending on what the weekend holds okay pause if you need this okay so before we start anything I have a couple of things I just want to show you I've had the most fun this morning with this jewelry lot I bought we're gonna look at it on Monday it has been incredible it's full of samples this is not it. <laughs> well, this was in it, but this is weird stuff. Uh, most of it was samples um, of new production pieces for different uh, jewelry brands. A lot of it being manufactured for um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which I didn't know they manufactured. I thought they did closeouts and um, yeah, overstock. There we go. But I guess they actually do manufacturing too. So anyway, I'll show you that on Monday. It's so cool. I kept some of the tags. The bags were a little, mm, I don't know, attic-y smelling. <laughs> so I rebagged everything, but I kept a couple so you could actually see what it was all about because it has been fascinating. It's been so neat, you guys. Okay, anyway, this, um, in that jewelry, there was also some vintage and then all of this new paparazzi or paparazzi-like jewelry. So I have a whole bin of it here. Um, I would say that all of it's new, but let's just say 99% in case there's something in here that's not new. Um, I took almost all of this out of the bags, again, because the bags were a little attic-y smelling. Um, so I was going to sell this whole bin of paparazzi for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And it's paparazzi and paparazzi-like, okay? There are some cool things. Did you guys see the, um, the cuffs down here? There's some cool cuffs in here. There will be some repeats in this, okay? So if you want that, just say paparazzi jewelry bucket. Or paparazzi is hard to spell. How about what? I don't know. Something else. <laughs> You'll figure out a way to tell me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to put this away over here so I have room. Holy guacamole. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you, remember these earring bags from the other day? Well, there were really no biters on the, uh, no takers on the um, uh, $8 gold tone ones. There's five pair. Um, some of the bags have six pair, but the six pair had a little bit of wear or something wonky. So really it's five pairs and one if you want to see if you like it kind of thing. I'm going to do these for $5 a piece. They're going to be random. They're all pierced ear. Okay. So just let me know if you want one of those, $4 a piece, because we're 50% off. I don't know where to put this, you guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the last thing I want to tell you is this, okay? This goodness. Yeah, do you see this, guys? Uh-huh. Okay, so I already showed you the amethyst and gold bracelet, the 14K bracelet. It's beautiful. I had asked 560. I'm going to ask um, 500. The reason I'm showing you it again is because Kristen's going to, um, Kristen D is going to show these two items on her channel for me in picture format. So I just wanted to show you first, just in case anybody wanted them, because I want to give you guys first shot. Okay. So there it is. It's seven and a half inches long. It is 7.67 grams, 14 K in amethyst asking 500 was asking 560. Okay. So just, um, let me know if you'd like that. I have to pause you guys. Okay, I'm back. Hubs actually remembered to tell me that he was going to start my car, which means I need to turn off my Bluetooth <laughs> or it's going to connect to my car. So anyway, thank you, Hubs. Now, in this lot of jewelry that I just described, this little nugget was hidden in there. Look at this. This amazing, gorgeous gold bracelet. And so I'm downstairs, I'm checking it out, right? I'll tell you my process a little bit. Checking it out and I see, oh, it has a mark. Oh my goodness, that says 14K, holy cow. So I'm like, okay, and the color looks pretty good, right? 
It's not too, too gold. I think my ring's 10K, so this looks a little bit more goldy. That's normal. All right, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to scratch test it. So I scratch this in, like the sound effects. And then I look at where I scratched, and I'm like, okay, it still looks like gold. Okay, now I'm getting really excited. My scratch looks like gold. Is a suspense billing and <laughs> building? <laughs> And then I put the acid on it. You guys, it's 14K. It is. It is 14K. Look at this chunker. Like, I don't know what happened this week, but the jewelry jewelry people out there that in the universe were shining down on me. So it's 14K, seven and a half inches long, 51.5 grams of gold, $2,500 for this. The scrap rate is 1,900 bucks. Okay. So I'm showing you this also because um, it's going to be shown on Kristen's channel. I want to give you guys first go. Anybody happens to want it. So a gold bracelet or amethyst bracelet. Uh, and I'll know what you're talking about. All right, you guys. Sorry about all the gabbing. Well, we did look at jewelry too. So I'm not sorry. I take it back. <laughs> all right. So I have a couple other things I want to talk to you about, but we can talk as we go. How's that? Okay, and if anybody loves this ring, I haven't tested it. It's supposed to be sterling. It is tiger's eye. I did test that on the gem tester. Tell me, because I might want to sell it. I'm not sure. I'm, like, not sold on it. It's probably an eight and a half. Let's see. It's an eight and a quarter. So if you're in love with it, I'll test it, and I might sell it. So tell me. Okay, here we go, guys. We're looking at some jewelry that is not that far in the past today. That's where we're going to start. And I just realized I did not get other jewelry. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to have to pause again. Okay, this is Monet. It is a set. It is a necklace. Um, let me make sure this is really Monet as I'm telling you that. It sure enough is. There it is. Um, it is a necklace set and earrings, but the earrings have been drilled. Remember these? Oh yeah. Clippies. Somebody drilled them in order to put ear wires in them. That's the reason for that. Okay. So this set is going to be only $5, $5. Hopefully somebody will love it for $5. That's what I'm hoping. Okay. Next. Oh boy. That's loud. I have to reach a little bit for this guys. Because if I'm honest, I never clean this day up. Yeah, don't judge. Okay. <laughs> this one is a set. Um, somebody put this bale on here. I can just take that off or you can take it off. And they fished a chain through it. This is um, a brooch. It is Monet. And they put this chain on it. And I believe the chain is actually Monet too. Um, but I don't think it came together. I don't think it was meant to be. Yep, Monet. Gorgeous gold tone Monet and clippy earrings. Yes, they have been drilled right there, right there. Only $5 for this set, you guys. $5. Somebody better love these at $5 because it is literally going to hurt me to put these in craft. I have to tell you. It's going to be painful, you guys. Save me. <laughs> Save me. All right, so she drilled here so she could add a bail and wear this as a necklace or a brooch. It is signed right there. It is Monet. Do you see it right there? And clippies, she also drilled right there. I don't see the other one. Oh, that's because this one, no, where is it? I don't understand. That's so weird. I don't see this one. Oh, I'm upside down. Sorry. Right there. There, Julie. Okay, $5 for this set. Speaking of there, Julie, you guys, did you um hear how many mistakes I made in my video yesterday? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, was I sleeping? I, I don't know what was going on. I guess I was having a rough day and I didn't know it. Did you see the um, Labrador, Labradorite, <laughs> Labradorite ring that I called Moonstone? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> did you see the tiger's eye earrings that I called turquoise? Yep, I did that too. They're, they're drilled right there. These are Monet also. Here's the brooch. Is the brooch drilled? It might not be. 
No, and it's also a pendant. See right here? So no, it's not drilled. These are cool, like viruses or something, right? Don't they look like that? <laughs> All right, it's just gonna be five bucks, you guys. Five bucks. Yeah, I mean, and then I said, oh, and this would be good for Pride Month, which is next month. <laughs> no, Julie, yesterday was June 1st. Pride Month is now. <laughs> okay, this one's been drilled. She added a bale. So you could use it as a necklace or a brooch. This is Monet. It has a tiny bit of turning or something wear right there. It is awesome. They're little mushrooms and they're fantastic. These two have been drilled. I don't know if you'd see that if you wore them as clippies. They're, it's really high. Let's see, how about if we clip on my finger? Will it work? Probably not. Probably not give the same effect. Eh, kinda. <laughs> um, if you have my ears, they'll go like this anyway. So, you know, nobody would see them anyway. <laughs> All right, $5 for the set. $5. Yeah, I made a bazillion mistakes. I'm sorry about that. I don't I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. Um, okay, here we go. This is also Monet. She added a couple little jump rings here to make it um, a pendant or a brooch. There, it's signed right there. Cute. So this one's not drilled, but their earrings are right there and right there okay five dollars okay so last week we made it through 100 pieces that is not going to happen today i can tell you already because i feel slow today <laughs> all right we have this necklace which is really cute it's in really good shape some light scratching on the silver right there it's nice though huh Oh, I should mention if you're new today, we go fast on this day. I don't do a lot of measuring and all that good stuff. It's cute. Uh, five bucks. Oh, you just saw me in there. Did you see me? Okay, we got this baby. This is also Monet. And she did drill this one right there. Okay, um, so she could wear it as a um, brooch or a pendant. Monet is signed right there. Uh, three bucks. Three bucks. Okay, let's see. We got this little patriotic guy. Would have been good for Memorial Day. He's a cutie. I don't think this one's signed. It's on a long chain. We'll do this one for four dollars. I don't know how much I asked for that one originally. I don't know. $4 sounds wonderful. We get this little cutie pie. Now is this a, um, oh no. I forgot the word. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I never even said that. We've got this lovely thing that has a top and a bottom and a stick pin in the middle, which is called something and whatever, I can't remember it. <laughs> it's a French word. And I think it starts with L. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be $2. <laughs> okay, we've got a stick pin. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Okay, we're gonna do two bucks. $2. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Guys, I have to reach so far for this, I'm so sorry. In between pieces is gonna take me a second okay we have this guy oh goodness gracious you got a good shot of me there um, is this Monet I don't know the answer to that I don't think so okay and then these earrings were with it I don't think these go together okay let's do it this way here we have this pendant let's sell that and we will sell it for two bucks and then we have these nice silver tone earrings, which are signed. Does that say Monet? Like everything was Monet in this lot. That's why I keep saying that. I think it does. Hold on. <laughs> Guess what? It does not. <laughs> it says Napier. <laughs> in 
in my defense, I, I don't see awesomely, okay? And also, um, because I have um, astigmatism that they can't totally get right with my glasses, so everything still has a little teeny blur. <laughs> so when I'm guessing things, I'm using like um, deduction powers. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I see an up down line and it kind of looks like it could be an M. It looks about the right length to say Monet, you know, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> So M and M, M and N are close, right? <laughs> All right, two bucks on the Napier. I'm just defending my honor there. <laughs> All right, we have this cutie. It is, it's nice. This is in great condition. Let's do $3. I don't see a signature, but we just talked about how well I see. <laughs> okay, this one, you get this. And this is a freebie. <laughs> There's a single uh, clippy. Monet, $3. Okay. We have a rose brooch. Nice. In pretty good condition. $2. Oops, did you see that? $2. Feather brooch. It is signed. Am I going to guess again? Okay, I think that says Jerry's. Now, I don't see the word Jerry's, but I think that's a G. Looks about the right length. <laughs> Let's see. It is. Woo! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> $2. on the Jerry's. And we've got this a beauty. It's on the short side. Just be aware. And we're going to do $3. Actually, $2 on that one, you guys, $2. I think I was lower than that originally because it's kind of short. Okay, we have this little, little buckle, scarf adornment, finger majigger, <laughs> dollar. Uh, we've got this little cube guy. Oh my goodness, look how much marker I got on me. Holy guacamole. Okay, this one's going to be $2. We have some enamel earrings. Pierced ears. Just a dollar. We have a little cutie heart. Okay, I'm having issues. How does it go? Like that? Okay, like this? That's kind of neat. It goes like through the heart. That's cute. A little gold tone chain. It looks like the chain has a mark on it. Avon. The chain is Avon. I don't know if the pendant is. She did a lot of moving around of stuff. It could be. How about $3? I don't remember why I asked for these. I hope I'm going less. <laughs> and we have this guy. A little bit of wear right there. It's cute though, like a metal mesh. Little choker with the extender. We're gonna do two bucks. Okay, and guess what? I did not plan well and I am out of... Oh no, did you guys hear that? There was a jewelry lanch in the background here. Oh, I have one more piece. It's that um, gold tone chain. It's in really nice condition that you can make shorter and longer by moving these pieces. Two dollars. Okay. Oh no, you know what happened, you guys? The paparazzi bucket <laughs> tipped over. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm out of room back here. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna pause. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some more jewelry. Okay, here I am again. <laughs> Should I tell you that there was jewelry sitting right beside me and I didn't see it? No, I'm not going to tell you that. It makes you sound like an airhead. <laughs> okay, I have to move my camera. I apologize. Okay, here we go. Uh, this guy you guys never seen before. He's, he's a misfit. Got a little wear on the back. He's not perfect. Is he missing some stones? I think he actually has all his stones, believe it or not. It's just gonna be a dollar. Oh, okay. Next. Did I tell you yet that that 
sterling silver thing that I couldn't figure out what it was, what it could be, maybe a bracelet, you know, the allergy bracelet story. Uh, one of you suggested an arm cuff, and I think you're right. So thank you for being so smart. Just a dollar on these pierced ears with ear wires. Uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, this is marked Vans Authentic. Yep, 2423. Vans Authentic. It was $10. It is going to be $5. A little bit of wear on the center. Maybe a little bit of wipe down needed. $5. If I remember correctly, that's a good brand. Oh, I like this one. I was surprised when we bought this. I think it's really cool, you guys. Okay, so it's a barrel clasp. And then these are all little like sequins. Not those, these. <laughs> and then it is, I would say it's like a charcoal gray color. And I tied it in a knot. <laughs> You're joking me. <gasps> okay, I guess it's the day of bloopers today. <laughs> Well, nobody's buying it now. If anybody wants to buy what I can find of it, <laughs> it's a dollar. Don't eat any sequins, Bryn. Bryn came to visit. She has impeccable timing. Okay, this is a misfit. It's just going to be a dollar. It's almost like somebody painted these. Three strands. Dollar. I, I'm just going to end up putting it in craft, but I'll leave it up here with a number. Okay. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It is. It's a blooper day, I guess. Okay, this is cute. Looking for a signature. Oh, this is cute. I like this. Two dollars. I like pine cones. It's a it's a newer thing. <laughs> I haven't always liked pine cones. I like pine cones now though. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, we've got spring ring clasp, three strands of holy guacamole, three strands of longness. Oh, I did it. Okay, we're going to do a reverse drive-by. <laughs> but as we learned in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, it still puts miles on your car. Just kidding. I don't know why I said that. Okay, this is just going to be $3, you guys. $3. Do you know what scene I'm talking about where I just said that? <laughs> okay. Cute. Those are really cute. These are going to be $2. Not signed. Those are in really nice shape. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a movie, for those of you who don't know. And Ferris and his friend take his dad's, I think it's a Porsche, out for the day. And they put all kinds of miles on it. And then they're like, oh, we'll get the miles to come off by running it in reverse. Well, that doesn't work, you guys. <laughs> As they soon found out. And Klein. There's the little lion. It's a long one. Three dollars. Three dollars. And I am taking one of your advice. Um, that suggested don't do 50 cents. It's okay. We don't need 50 cents on prices. Round up. And I like that plan. <laughs> He's going to be $2. He's new. One of my wholesale pieces. Um, okay, we have a glass necklace. Pretty colors. They look like a beautiful Caribbean ocean, don't they? Okay, $5 on that, which would be gorgeous today because it's 90 here, you guys. 90. It's crazy. We don't have spring and fall anymore, and I really miss them. Wish they'd come visit. <laughs> Little vintage necklace, just $4 on that one. I asked eight originally. It's in very good shape. Acrylic. I forgot to tell you it's acrylic. What have we got here? OK, 
Okay, we've got a pair of earrings. Are these from my wholesales? Could be, you guys. I'm not positive on that. They might be new. I'm not sure. Two bucks. Oh my gosh, I love this guy. He is new from Wholesale Jewelry. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. What was I charging? $5, so he's gonna be three instead of $2.50. See how that works? <laughs> $3, okay. I have this milk glass pin, which has glue residue and just um, yuccas. It's a brooch, has it back here. Not in great shape for just the glue part. Everything else is in great shape. I'm just gonna ask two, two dollars. And I'm pretty sure those are glass. They feel cool. Yes, they're glass, you guys. Just wanted to make sure. Two dollars. What is this? It's Bakelite. Bakelite. Bakelite what? Bakelite finger sugar. Oh, now it looks like something. Do you see it? It's like a Bakelite cameo. That's cool. Do you guys see it? That would be neat in somebody's art project or something or refurbishing a piece of jewelry. Huh? Okay, I was asking 10, so we're gonna do five. And if not, I think I'm gonna put a Bakelite um, lot on eBay. It seems like you guys don't love Bakelite. I've said that before, which is totally fine. You can love what you love. These are cute, big old button earrings, marbled acrylic. Pretty good shape. Two bucks. Well, what was I charging? Yep. So a dollar fifty makes it two. Two dollars. Oh, for goodness sakes, Joan Rivers. I'm saying oh for goodness sakes because I did a bad buy on these. <laughs> it was a set of three and they were really beautiful. Um, maybe I should look for the other two before I sell this. Anyway, they were really beautiful. I paid like thirty six dollars plus shipping for the three. It was dumb. I don't know what I was doing. I think I got auction fever. <laughs> I think I'm going to set it aside and look for the others. But yeah, I still have all of them. <laughs> I did try selling them as a group. Okay, here we go. Some beaded clippies. They say Japan. $2. They're in pretty good shape for this. For sure. Okay, I don't know what I asked for this. It's pretty. Silver tone and the blues. Oh yes, I remember this. This one's a little bit of a misfit. Do you see there's gold tone back here? I think it was on the front of an, uh, originally, but it is all silver tone now, okay? So $2. Okay, this is a sterling ring. You have seen it before. Check it out, check, check, check it out. It's nice, I don't think this one was missing anything. Let me just do a close up for myself. Oh, oh, is that a missing stone right there? Let me look with the loop so you guys know. It's like half a stone. Okay, I don't know why it's like half a stone, but it is that second one right there on the side. And what's that? It's like half a stone again, right there. Okay, so let me see what size it is. They're hard to see that they're missing, but they are. Uh, I would say five and a half, you guys. I'm just gonna do four bucks, four bucks. Okay, oh, you guys. I had a little basset hound named Miss Daisy. She was the light of my life. Look, dog glitter. Dog glitter with the dog pin. Ha, huh, fitting. She's so cute. <laughs> My Daisy was red and white. So she. this is a tri-color. Has the black. So she only had like this red color and white. She was gorgeous. Two dollars. Basset hounds are not for the faint of heart. Just FYI if you've always loved them. They're amazing, but they're not for everybody. Okay, cat's eye beads, glass necklace. This is gorgeous. Pretty, I like that. How much was I charging? Has an eight and a half inch drop and it's going to be eight bucks. 
$8. Okay. All right, this is a little pendant that I thought was really cool. Probably should have put it on a necklace or something. Do I have one over here that will fit? Let's see, because I did steal some necklaces. Yeah, it's not really the right color. Okay, anyway, this is a dollar. Dollar, it's acrylic. Acrylic and gold tone. Ooh, look at this little dude. We haven't had a critter day in a while, you guys. I'm kind of jonesing. I need a critter day. Would you guys do a critter day with me? He's new. He's one of my wholesale lots. $2. Okay. All right, got to grab more from the bin. Woo woo. Okay, this is a newbie from my wholesale jewelry. What a cutie. <laughs> Look at that eye, it's a Rivoli, can you see? Are not pointed Rivolis still Rivolis? Question I've asked before and not looked up. <laughs> $2. Okay, what is this? Uh-oh, Bryn's mad. Oh, just kidding. She's not mad, she's just barking. Um, This is pretty, I like it. Let's, let's put the gem tester on it, shall we? Let's see. Ooh, you guys, I think this is a smoky quartz. Right, right on the quartz line. It's beautiful. Wow, nice piece. Oh, and she's only going to be five bucks, you guys. Five dollars. Okay. Are we heavy in brooches today? Kind of. Okay. I try to give you a variety. This one has some turning on it. Um, it's okay. It's just not awesome. Just going to do a dollar. Okay. Another brooch. As I say, we're a little heavy on brooches. Oh, if you don't like clowns, don't look. I know some people really hate them. There you go. Rhinestone clown. He's cute. Three dollars. have this little bag of yum. Let's see what's in here. We've got some vintage acrylic and vintage faux pearl and vintage silk thread. Okay, we have a cool covered barrel clasp, I think. It could have been a pop. No, it's a screw barrel. It's a nice shape, you guys. Nice acrylic necklace. Two dollars. This is not going to want to stay. Can you please stay there? Por favor. Okay. Then we've got another acrylic necklace. Oh, cool. Another um, hidden screw clasp. That's cool. Um, there it is. Uh, it needs a wipe down. What is that? Do I even want to know? Okay, it's like it was gluey and got paper on it. It looked kind of fuzzy, guys. I got a little scared, I gotta tell you. It's on a lot of, oh, guys, were these fuzzy at one point? That would be pretty interesting. Do you see what I'm seeing? Look. Huh. All right, this is gonna go in craft for a dollar. Mystery necklace. <laughs> I'm picturing like they do do weird finishes on things, or they did. Okay, we've got that silk string. This one is in great shape, you guys. Usually they don't look this good. Yellow, gold tone, $2. I don't think you guys have ever seen these before. And, oh, look at faux pearl. That's kind of uh, stitched together. There's a knot, just so you know. It's like a light green color. There you go, that's not bad. $2. $2. Nice little vintage necklace. Okay, we have some glass necklaces coming up next. This one coming up has a drop of 10 inches. This one's a little bit longer than a lot of them. Where's the clasp? Clasp. Oh, here it is. Barrel clasp. Oh, this one has some neat beads. 
so cool. Uh, sorry, my nose was itchy. <laughs> I had a little pause there. Oh, one of the wedding cake beads. This is cute. I asked 15 last time, so it's going to be eight. Eight dollars. Okay. This is neat. Huh. I think these might be ceramic, not glass, you guys. And I feel like I'm having deja vu here, like I said this when I originally showed it. <laughs> All right, I think so. These might be glass. These seem to be ceramic, I think. It's very pretty. It's the moody colors, I like it. It's very cool. Okay, so this one has a drop of nine and a half inches, $6, $6. Okay. Okay, now the reach begins to set things down. The reaching begins. Another glass necklace. Hope you're okay with that. Sorry, I got a lot in a row here. They look like little candies. Okay, nine inch drop, six dollars. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at this giant giraffe. Oh, he wants to get me. No, no. This is a new piece. It can be a pendant or a brooch. And I think I asked eight, so we'll ask four. Four dollars. Okay. We have a little cameo. She's going to be three dollars. This is that thinner material. Three dollars. Eek. I can't reach. All right, this little guy. I don't know if I've ever shown you this guy. His name's Kilowatt. And he's 1960s advertising. It's a little pin. Isn't it funny? It's really cute. Um, so I was asking 15, um, but I'll take eight dollars. I was gonna stick him on eBay. Stick them on eBay. Uh-oh. Hold on, you guys. I'm filming. All right. We have another brochy poo. Oh, I see it. Okay, there's an eye, and there's an eye, there's a nose. This one is not one of the new ones. It's going to be $3. A little jaguar. I couldn't make out his face having a hard time. Okay. This is one of the new guys. Isn't he so cute? Oh, look at all this dog glitter you guys get. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> okay. So $3 on him. My timer is going off on the stove. Ay, ay, ay. I asked Hubs to turn it off if he heard it, but he probably has not. Um, I think this was sterling, you guys. It's a toe ring or a pinky ring. Let me see if it's marked. I am 99% sure, but I'm only going to sell it for two anyway. Okay, $2. So if it is or if it's not, I guess it's still a good price. Glass crystal vintage necklace. Nice condition. Is it signed? No. It's just going to be $4. $4. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. This is new. It's going to be $4. A little necklace. Four dollars. I can't reach over here, you guys. <laughs> it's not going well. We're gonna use the top area here, which I try not to because it gets messy, but we're going to. And my numbers are gonna be messed up a little bit too here. Uh-oh, they're gonna repeat. Oh my goodness. You guys, please bear with me. It is, it's like, <laughs> it's like blooper reel today. I hope you still love me. I don't know. What is wrong? What is wrong with me? All right, well, they're gonna have a little jump, whatever. 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay. We have a brooch. It is a coro brooch. It's very pretty. What did I ask before? 12. It's going to be six. Six dollars. And I am putting things up here. All right, we have a glass necklace. That's a cool one. Like Millefiori kind of stuff going on. Has a drop of nine and a half inches, six dollars. Uh, let's see what this is. We have a little tack pin, cute, two dollars. Okay, let's get some more. All right, we've got a little brooch. That's nice, it's in good condition. Probably needs a little wipe down. That looks like sticker residue on the front there. Okay, $3. Glass necklace. Ooh, this one's cool. Look at that, it's like the golden ticket necklace. Ooh, look at the clasp. That is so cool. I don't remember this one. It unscrews. Oh, this is nice. I like this. It has a drop of 11 and 3 quarter inches. I was asking 18 on this one, so it's going to be 9. 9. I think I remember. That was in a vintage lot. It wasn't in, like, the glass necklace lot. We have a copper copper brooch with tiger's eye. Pretty sure that's real, not fake. Yep, it's real. And it's going to be $5. Is it a house? I think it might be a house. It's cool. A little abstracty house. We have a gold tone and AB rhinestone brooch. I remember this is a misfit. Somebody replaced some of the stones with non AB stones just clear stones. Do you see them? There's one here. Uh, they're hard to see. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. You know what? They're not non AB. They're still AB. They're just different. Um, the ones that they replaced have like a silvery AB. Does that make sense? I don't know. And then these ones have like those traditional rainbow looking AB. It doesn't look bad. It's still pretty. Um, is it signed? Nope. <laughs> $3. Okay, we have a sterling ring. Red Jasper, I believe. Nice little setting. Size... Size seven, you guys. Size seven. This one's going to be five dollars. All right, we got a bracelet. Have we even had a bracelet today? I don't know. It's just silver tone. It's kind of like an antique silver tone and an acrylic part right there. I had asked three dollars, so I'm gonna ask two. Um, I'll put it on here. So I'm going to squish it just a little, like a six and a half, you guys, six and a half. Okay. We have an, an copper enamel brooch. I think it's copper. Yep. Carpet, car, carpet, <laughs> car, car, <laughs> copper enamel brooch. And it looks like it's signed Margo. Yep. See it right there. Margot Page, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, look, Page. <laughs> you don't have to work that hard, Julie. Read your tag. Okay, $4 on this one, you guys. $4. It's a very pretty little hummingbird. Okay. We have a little scatter pin. Oh, it's cute. $4 on that one. Okay. We have a crystal necklace. 
It is glass. I don't believe this is lead crystal. Here's a dry by. This is a long one, you guys. Graduated size, si graduated beads. There we go. And it's neat. It has a little bead in between each one, too. It's very, this one's nice. $8. $8. I have a single earring <laughs> and another single earring. They should be in there though. All right, let's see what this is. Okay, we got some screw backs. Those are pretty. And they are signed, it looks like. Coro, I can read that. Woo -woo. And let's see, what did I ask? I asked 10 on these, I'm going to ask five. They're very nice, like perfect condition. I have a rhinestone necklace. I dropped off the prom jewelry, guys, so we aren't going to be saving anymore. This one has some wear. I probably wouldn't have brought this one anyway, but it does have some wear. It's not perfect, you guys. It's pretty, though. Very pretty. Okay, what did I ask for this before? It's 17 and a half inch total length. I asked 14, so it's gonna be eight. Eight dollars. Vintage rhinestone necklace. Okay. What do we have? Oh, these are cool. I think I said that last time. <laughs> Those are fun. I like them. Nice primary colors, right? And they are not signed, and they're going to be four dollars. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, a little crab brooch, faux pearl, some scratching on the pearl. We'll just do a dollar on him. I love when you guys buy misfits and you're gonna give them a new life. It makes me so happy, like, yay, we found you a new home, misfit. You get to live another day. Okay, bracelet, not signed. This is very nice. Let's see. Size, size seven, you guys, size seven. Size seven, is it in as good a shape as I think it is? I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna ask uh, $4, $4. And let's see, it looks like we have some stone earrings. Oh, I know something else I want to talk to you guys about. I think these are probably some kind of agate, you guys. Like grays and whites. They're very pretty. Um, I asked four last time, so they're going to be two. Okay, so shipping and holding, okay? Um, I do not mind holding your packages till you get enough that um, you don't pay as much in shipping, so you can combine shipping. I don't mind doing that at all. I hate paying shipping, so I am all for helping you guys with that. No problem. Okay, these are signed. I think they're Coro. It's very, Coro, I've found a lot of times their silver or gold tone is too heavy and it like ruins their stamp. Okay, they're Coro. They're not in awesome shape, just a dollar. Okay, so like I said, I don't mind ship pulled, all that good stuff. So usually if I see somebody only has one or two items, I'll, I'll send an email and say, do you want me to hold or do you want me to ship? And again, I have not minded doing that at all either. The only thing is I can't anymore. <laughs> I just don't have enough time. I love this little guy. He's not perfect. A dollar. Um, I just don't have enough time to uh, email now. But maybe it's just the summertime. It feels like I've been rushed on invoicing and stuff. Uh, so if if you want me to hold or ship, you have to tell. Um, sorry, if you want me to hold, you have to tell me. Okay, these are like satin glass. They're beautiful, gorgeous necklace. It has an eight and a half inch drop. Six dollars. So just tell me. Say, could you hold it? And I'll say, sure, no problem. But if you don't tell me, I'm just going to ship. And that being said, if you tell me to hold it after I sent you an invoice, that does that's fine too. 
Like if you're like, oh no, she invoiced me, just pay the invoice. And what I always do is when I see that somebody has something on hold, he's missing an eye, just a dollar. Um, I'm holding something for someone. I always go back and check to see if you've paid shipping already. And if you have, if it's enough, you don't get charged anymore. If it's not enough, I just charge you the little difference. Just a dollar on this one, a little butterfly. Okay, yeah, so just tell me if you want me to hold. That was the point of all of that. Okay, we have some gold tone moss on the back side of this. It's very nice. It's, it seems long, which is great. Let's see. Do you guys, doesn't it seem big? That's awesome. It is, you guys. It's an eight. Yay! For all us big wrist girlies. <laughs> all right, it does have some wear, though. Um, are these anything I should know about? No. Uh-oh. Oh, my probe got stuck. Why did it do that? Okay, I believe they're glass, you guys. Okay, we're just going to do $4 on that one. Speaking of big wrists, look it. I found a bracelet today when I was going through all this stuff. This is one of the samples. Um, so it was brand new and a sample made for somebody. I took the tag off, <laughs> but it fits and I like it. All right, we have a sterling ring. Okay, this is a vintage sterling ring. It's a dogwood and it is by Stuart Nye. It says NYE sterling on the inside. Um, I had asked 25, so I'll ask 13 to size seven, size seven. Oh, you know what else I wanted to say? I totally forgot. I wanted to tell you guys, so 13. I wanted to tell you guys there's a few sterling rings left from the end of yesterday's video. The very end there were sterling rings. Um, there's a few left. Those are not gonna go on clearance. So if you like them, buy them as they are, okay? They're not gonna go on clearance. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Uh, $3. That'd be fun. We have a balloon rally in town every August. It made me think of that. All right, one more item. And we're going to stop. We have a Unikite ring. Gold tone wire wrapping. I had asked 10. This one's going to be five. Five dollars. Okay, that's it, you guys. Freakishly good deals. Friday is over for another week. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm not sure when I'm invoicing this weekend. Tomorrow, there's a whole bunch of town-wide yard sales. Like, all the towns did not communicate. Oh, I wish they had. I'm not going to be able to decide. Um, so, I probably won't invoice tomorrow. And then Sunday, maybe I'll do it Sunday. <laughs> but maybe Monday. I don't know. <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.